Well, um, I think this is the last session. This is uh, Takeda Symposium. Um, it's uh, really nice to have a full uh, full uh, theater now. So, uh, so we'll present Sir Azad. Yes, um, it uh, gives me great pleasure to present a very dear friend and a very eminent professor, Professor Dr. Azzat Ali, Professor of Gastroenterology, Alexander University and head of the gastrointestinal endoscopy unit in Alexander University. He is also the past president of the Pan-Arab uh, Association for Crohn's and Colitis and the president-elect of the Egyptian Society of IBD. Uh, Dr. Izzat has a very uh, vast experience in IBD, and we are looking forward to his talk today about Vidulizumab. Thank you, Dr. Izzat. Thank you so much for the introduction, Mr. Chairman. I think I'm the first to say Mr. Abdel Hamid. But I hope that I deliver the message that it will be a good symposium. But it's totally educational. I think we will chip a lot and we solve a lot of problems in this session um, about debate um, in all the two days, about all debates, I think will be answered in a lot of uh, new studies delivered and some of them under print. That is my disclosure. I think we know what we need. When we do with the IBD, control inflammation, symptom, mucosal healing, fitness, metabolic health, cardiovascular health, high quality of life. And this is the EMA approval dates for all biologics and it's biosimilar. And now you have to look, for example, we do subcutaneous for the first time to be announced. You can induce and use it for induction, but you can maintain by subcutaneous. There is a shift in all what we need in biologics. So, even so, the Estikinomab may be by time, some changes, but we have to respect all what will happen in the... What about the biobites? I mean, what is the biologics? If I give another name, it is a rocks. What we will say is all of them are a rocks. For example, we do a new C in what's called victory concerning by Narula, in aim to quantify safety effectiveness of we do when used in UC and identify the predictor of response. And the methods is retrospective review in the way in consortium data can follow up the primary effectiveness and secondary effectiveness outcome, Cox proportional hazard analysis, non -response, response imputations, and key safety for serious infection, serious adverse effect, and even polycomy. Results can around more than 300 patients. Minhum Mahua exposed priorly anti GNF with immediate floating mass. The 12 months cumulative rate of clinical remission and endoscopic remission was about 50% and 41% of speaking. The rate of steroid free and deep remission was about 30% speaking. Majority of the patients with inadequate follow up who were deemed non responder using the NRI already achieved the clinical remission, Sabine patient Minhum. ومنهم ما هو دخل في الكلينيكال ريسبونس 36 في ال 12 شهر. فيدو ديسكونتينيويشن يعني هم الناس اعلنوا حتى الناس اللي عندهم حصل فيهم مشاكل ووز اوبزرفت 91% 91 بيشنت ديو تو ليك اوف ريسبونس نيد فور سيرجي ادفرس مالتي فاريانت اناليسيز شوينج بريور اكسبوجر تو انتي تي ان اف ويز اسوشيتد ويز ريديوست بروبابيلتي اوف اتشيفينج كلينيكال ريميشن اتس فيري امبورتنت اتس ا جود اوز ريشيو اند ايفن اندوسكوبيك ريميشن. Serious adverse effects, serious infection were reported in about six to four percent respectively, with overall a rate of colectomy were reported 30, 13 percent, with lower rate observed into anti TNF naive patients. As we said from the start, look for that. That is the overall cumulative rates for treatment outcome stratified by anti TNF. The response, the remission, steroid free and endoscopic uh, uh, improvement for the first time, a new term, endoscopic remission, deep remission, colectomy. Look what all of them, the naive is better than. And if exposed for the first anti TNF, it's better after the second anti TNF. Data including different new entities. 
and this proportion achieving outcome 12 months is stratified also by ITTNF in non-response imputation. Even so, look for all of them, the anti-TNF naive, it's better. Anti-TNF one is better. Anti-TNF two is so bad up to collective. This, the description of what's called univariable and multivariable predictors, all of them, including clinical response, clinical remission, corticosteroid free, endoscopic improvement, and even endoscopic remission with deep remission, depending on the albumin level, on the age, on the sex, and sometimes disease less than two years, as we said, the early condition, clinical severity, and TGNF exposure. All of them using this medication showing good positive results. And at the end, he said that a substantial proportion of the patient can achieve clinical and endoscopic outcome of importance to patient and provider. Treatment effectiveness is significantly impacted by the TNF exposure. Incremental loss of its effectiveness after each successive anti-TNF use. Baseline album, disease extent, severity were an important predictor for treatment outcome. VIDO, well tolerated, even with serious infection, serious adverse effects, and the data will help by time to better guide the use of VIDO, further refining the optimal position of this biologic in the current. Rapidly, for the meta-analysis, for this medication, efficacy, safety, biologic, small molecule for patients with moderate to severe UC meta-analysis, as Professor Malik said. At time, this is the network for meta-analysis using placebo or head-to-head -head or even placebo versus the VIDU, placebo versus golimumab, spikinumab, PUFA, ozinamod, the new medication, Ligo, and even OBA. And as he said, there is a good presentation. I think for you, see, OPA will play the great role at the cup edge. That is a new medication, Mahgoud Delwati, Mokmas, and will be delivered soon for UC BS Rimvok. It's available, but we use concentration. I think we have a lot of BI in Egypt, at the big centers. So we admit a lot of patients in this study, and we had a very good results using this oral medication for induction, maintenance, and even for failure of other biologics. We do a lot of guidelines of assessment in our patients. That is, as Professor Malik said, that is a forest plot for clinical remission in UC. I think at the afternoon, you say the CG group, that is the UC, look for that. OBA is still the highest, but Infliximab 1, Infliximab 2, Tufa, Gula, Ozinomod, Yegibidu. Yes, by the end of UC. That is a very important data to be delivered. So the eco guidelines soon will be changing according all the researches will be delivered as increased quality of evidence, risk of bias will improve the guidelines and will get more and more indication and voting. You said we have a three recommendation for VIDU. We can re recommend the treatment of VIDU for induction maintenance of whether it's severe you see, have an inadequate response or internal to conventional. We recommend the VIDU for maintenance of remission in patients with UC who respond to induction treatment of VIDU. And we suggest the use of UC rather than adenomumab for induction and maintenance of remission in patients moderate to severe UC. Rapidly, VIDU biobites in CG, that is the victory consortium for effectiveness, real world effectiveness, safety, VIDU in moderate to severe CG. It's very strong a study, I will to hurry, but you have to respect the next year. Every study will be delivered alone. It's very important for the study population and exposure, for example, the age six and disease duration, exposure and phenotyping, history of family, concomitant medication, hospitalization and surgery. Very strong, showing high clinical remission, high clinical response, steroid free, steroid free remission, steroid free response, and even surgery. And the loss of response was greatest between six and 12 months after induction with increased dose recapture and increased frequency with recapture. That is both, that is a new optimization. So that is the endoscopic outcome, even for the first time to talk about the deep remission, even beyond the mucosal healing. Predictor with reduced probability of achieving remission or mucosal healing depends still 
prayer exposure for anti TNF, baseline activity, perianal disease, smoking status. And if we get to the smoke, to the healing, not remission, you define the baseline activity and anti TNF exposure is very important. Safety outcome is so safe during along the course, including number of cases after adjusted per year personal affection, it's about eight cases, seven cases, five cases, and uh, very important to conclude in this uh, study, still we have some limitations of retrospective patient identification as any meta-analysis, refractory nature of the population included, saying so filmia minimum can anti TNF experiences, variability in the follow-up, conclusion being is safe, effective, clinical and deep remission observed in one third of the patient, in spite of the same filmia anti TNF failure, disease severity, and disease smoking, anti TNF exposure, show reduced effectiveness, side and severe adverse effects how serious infection occur majority of them can be really managed without any discontinuation of therapy we do love love cg it's very important and new topics we do induce endoscopic and histological remission in patient to is Crohn's disease that is an endoscopic remission that important treatment to bullying cd and it is associated with a better outcome reduce the rate of hospitalization of surgery gmi2 and in, in endoscopic remission can about this hour, actually, the victory was about the letter of the team. By time, the film study, I shall you show the methodology. Had no cool little photo of Tosha Senna, minute Nino, I shall inside, mean Belgium, Netherlands, moderate to severe. The CGI, I need it that with her up in Midian, I shall up to Bomeo can see the patient who failed or intolerant anti GNF, or even naive open label discussion, uh, open label. Uh, uh, study additional doses can be added at the 10th week follow up one year definition it hotly really destroyed free remission we are in a clinical response as regarding decreases cgi endoscopic remission scg endoscopic response can see for me a reduction in the starting scg can it in the tail get done Weeks of endoscopy tracem, location of the disease, the disease characteristic. There is a very strong data about the love. Confirmed histopathological remission can be achieved during our use of the uh, video. And the conclusion from this is the retrospective trial. We found approximately one third of the patient achieved in CG remission after the week 52 over treatment with video. Two thirds achieved histological remission. At week 26, higher serum concentration of VIDO were associated with better outcome. And I think you now in Egypt, we have VIDO level assessment and level VIDO level antibody, and even ustekinumab level and antibody. I think we are running in a good way to starting this assessment and follow up, evolve real, real life evaluation for the safety as regarding its database reviewing, multi centers, United States, Canada, Greece. Full patient can afford to amount of Sana. Patient in naive who received VIDO or anti GNF is a front line objective to evaluate safety and effects. In evolved studies, it nashar it our Hagasma evolved one or our result to Liha can be Alfein with the Sahatasha for UEG, but the Keda can maybe evolve it to whether it depends on the evolved study for Eco Alfein where it's green. Edgy with all A, with all the reason safety of VIDO and the GNF for naive biological patient. In UC and CG with evolved real world, serious adverse events and serious adverse infection had occurred from assessment from the baseline. Incidence rate of this side effect infection or adverse effect were significantly lower in patient treating with VIDO versus anti GNF. Very strong data. When it's stratified by UC or CG, the incidence rate of this side effect significantly lower in patient treated with VIDO versus anti GNF. And lastly, naive patient or biologic on CG, UC with VIDO as monosurvey have a safety profile similar to the patient receiving VIDO plus IMM for the first time. They compare the combo as VIDO and immune modulators versus alone as a monosurvey with high safety, with the high safety margin. Patients treated with VIDO early significantly less like to experience disease exacerbation, adverse effect, and versus those treated with anti GNF. So we get a very strong safety conclusion for this patient UC and CG treated with VIDO were less likely to experience side effect or adverse effect 
or even uh, serious infection, naive patient with video, UCCD treated with video, and a monotherapy may experience safety profile similar to patient with combo, UC treated patient within two years of diagnosis with video, significantly less likely to experience disease exacerbation, as we said, window of opportunity. And there is a lot about the effectiveness similar in using this CG as a combo or monotherapy, even including the safety IMT. Hurry more and more for this evolved study, very strong study. I will deliver it alone soon. But biobytes in sequencing, do you think if you use VDOVERS can affect the other medication? And if you use anti gnf first, can affect the use of VDO? That is very important clinical effectiveness of first line anti gnf therapy and second line anti gnf therapy, both the VDO discontinuation in a patient with UC or even CG. That is very important to use first line VDO. And even you can use first line anti gnf and shifting second line after we do an anti-GNF. Cumulative rate of treatment and persistence clinical effects in second line would similar to those in the first line. يعني ما كانش في فروق إن استعمل فيدو وان إلى على anti-GNF لو فيلم. ما كانش في فروق بين استعمل anti-GNF وراء anti-GNF. The comparability كانت شبه بعض. وضع وصلنا المرحلة إن there is persistence rate or cumulative rate of persistence in treatment and clinical response in second line was similar to the first line. يعني حضرتك استعمل ال anti GNF anti after video it's equal لاستعمالك ال anti GNF as a first line. So the results suggest that use of video the first line would not modify the effectiveness of anti GNF as second line effectiveness. Conclusion, they were on a persistent view, clinical remission, very, very strong, persistent or superior to treated VDO versus anti-GNF as a first line. Patient with unreplicated, un uncomplicated CG at the higher clinical responses and the complicated type, no difference in clinical outcome was observed between patient treated with the first and second line anti-GNF. VDO biobites as safety. That is a very a new one running now for VDO safety profile. Elaborating number one, special precaution, pregnancy, lactation, and BGR. The critical situation in our work, I think we have a lot to discuss of them, but we have what's called OTIS, that is Organization of Teratology Information Specialists. For the first time, another group beyond the IBDologist will play the role. So we do pregnancy exposure registry done using what's called autism pregnancy at the study. Methods, female pregnant exposed for VDO, our IBG not exposed for VDO, our healthy population. مهم جدا اللي احنا نبقى عارفين الحاجات دي لان ده اللي هيغير الكونسيبت اللي احنا كنا بنتكلم عليه ده. داتا في كلام بيطلع على حاجه اللي احنا قلنا عليها over cushions. النتائج كانت بروسبكتيف ما كانتش ريتروسبكتيف كانت اوبزرفيشنال وكان لها ابديتس بطريقه قويه جدا في 263 ومن مش عدد قليل ابدا متقسمين محطوط كل الداتا بتاعتهم الاندنج بريجنسي سبونتينيوس ابورشن ستيل بيرث تيرمينيشن حطوا كل اللي احنا كنا بنخاف فيه بري تيرم ديليفري البيت او الويت بتاع البيبي نمبر اوف بريجنسي اوف ذا ميجر بيرث افكت سيريس انفكشن ايج اند ستيج سكريننج وان يير ليتر كل ده اتحط عشان يقولوا ذير از ابديت انديكيت بريجنانت ومن تريتد ويز فيدو ان ات ليست فيرست ترايمستر هاف ا سيميلار بيرث اوت كام لبوث الاكسبوز والان اكسبوز And the video pregnancy exposure registry is ongoing and will be delivered soon by very big data about all what we said. Now, video level impressed me. A new critical issue for the baby, for the infant. Prospective post marketing phase four open label milk only lactation study in nursing mothers with IBG over review. Very strong to assess the safety of the. Baby during suckling milk, the level of VDO was assessed. The result was very astonishing. VDO was found to be present in the human breast milk at a low level. The benefit of VDO therapy should be balanced with potential risk of the infant. Then we are shifted rapid for a new study. I will hurry up to finish. That is the piano study. 
فيري سترونج ستادي عشان بخاطر دكتور حسين برجنسي اند نيونيتال اوت كام افتر فيتال اكسبوجر تو بايولوجيك ثايوبريز المره دي احنا مش هنتكلم لا فيدو ولا نان فيدو بتاع بايولوجيكس وخد كومبو فيرسس ان فيتال بقى ايه اكسبوجر اوت كام اي ثينك اول وات وي هاد تو دي از فيري سترونج اند فيري الستريتيف الميثودز قدام حضراتكم نتائج كانت رهيبه جدا بريجنسي ريليتد كومبليكيشن باي دراج اكسبوجر Controlled by aid, maternal age serious and disease activity. The pregnancy complication, no difference in rate of pregnancy complication by drug class. Safety for all. The data again. Shafin, we are sorry, but we are getting a new data. I will will making our support us at the national level with delivery of 16 IBG centers in Egypt. Control. Rolling around this house in Mohabza, and you have a little bit of 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 a little bit مش واحد منهم. For example, the infection, the drug exposure, whatever by biologics, thiobrine or combined was not associated with an increased risk of infection, serious or non-serious, in the first year of life after controlling for preterm birth, maternal age and disease activity. The preterm birth was associated with increased risk of infection with odd ratio of trauma, birth serum, Drug concentration was not associated with an increased risk of serious infection or any infection in the first year of life. I think the data astonishing for me and for all workers in the story of the IBD. Sahab Kupsin. Gross, Dikat Mohammed. Infant of the mother receiving thiobrine or combination therapy had significantly higher birth weight versus infant of the mother unexposed to medication. After controlling the highest male preterm birth maternal disease activity, there is no difference. Milestone, no difference were seen in the developmental milestone by drug exposure states. So I'm sure from what we have to do today, but we're going to talk about it. But the data on the safety, I think, after the people all will get it from the piano study. Is it not? The results of all the safety are very high. Among women with IBG used biologic thiobrine alone or combination was not associated with increased pregnancy complication at any level. La congenital malformation, while a spontaneous abortion, while a preterm birth, while a low, term, low birth weight for death, while an infection in the first year of life, maternal active disease, and the prior spontaneous abortion. How many people have the problem? We have to tell our patients that during the pregnancy at any level of activity. أصعب ما في الأمر في الأكتيفيتي أوف ذا ديزيز هي اللي بتعمل المشكلة. بريتر بيرس ويز أسوشيتد ويز إنكريز ريسك أوف إنفكشن إن ذيس. ما تنسوش إن البيولوجي في ال 20 سنة اللي بدأنا نستعملهم حرك كتير جدا من السيرجيكال إكسبوجر في الكرونز بص من من 20 سنة دياجنوزيس ييرز أفتر دياجنوزيس أوف سي دي ويرز أفتر دياجنوزيس أوف سي دي وشوف الريت أوف سيرجري اتغير قد إيه باستعمال البيولوجي. قدر يقلل جدا بالوقت كل ما بقرب للفترات اللي بدات استعمل فيها بيولوجي كان في نجاح غير مسبق ب ديكريز السيرجيكال ريسكشن سبيشالي كرونز ديزيز وادي اللوثيان اي بي دي ريجستري كانت من ضمن الحاجات على 900000 من السكان بص عندهم تقريبا شبه اللي عندنا في البيولوجي بص هو بدا من 2003 وزينا بالصفت 2005 احنا في اسكندريه وفي مصر كنا بادئين 2003 عند 2021 كل البيولوجي بان بدا الفيديو بان بقوة شويه اكتر من اللي حواليه يجي بعديه الانفليكسيماب وكمان معاه شويه من التوفاسيتيب والاستكينوباب ازاتوب واخر حاجه تحت الادالموماب اي ثينك وي هاف تو ورك لايك ذيس باي تايم وي هاف ا جود داتا اباوت سيفتي فايف بيرز ارقام رهيبه 33 سنتر ديفرنت بوبيوليشن امريكا كندا جريس اول اوف ذيس شود بي ديسكاس اند نوت تو بي ديليفر سو ايزلي لاستلي ذات از اور فاينل كونكلوجن نايف بيشنت تو بايولوجيك سي جي اور سي دي تريتد ويز فيدوزيماب اور ان تي فيو 
were less likely to experience adverse effect or serious infection than those treated with anti -GNF. Naive patient with biologic with UC or CD treated with VEDO, whether monotherapy or combined therapy, demonstrate safety, persistence, and persistent clinical remission. Similarly, in VEDO plus immune modulator, patient with UC treated within two years of diagnosis with VEDO were significantly less likely to experience exacerbation of the disease and even adverse effect than those treated with anti -GNF. Patient of uncomplicated CG had a higher clinical response than patient with complicated CG. No difference in the clinical outcome were observed between patients treated with the first and second antigen, if even possible. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Therese. That very comprehensive work uh, and uh, exciting. Uh, Dr. Mohammed Malik, we are very excited uh, to have you here in Egypt uh, from Kuwait. And your comment, please. Prof, amazing talk. It was, uh, yeah, you reviewed everything. So just a comment on pregnancy and IBD. Um, we always raise the safety of medication during uh, pregnancy, but we know now from P piano registry, as you mentioned, and so on. And if you ask any rheumatologist, they will tell you it's safe because they have way more experience yes. compared to us. They have much more biologics and they use it throughout uh, the pregnancy. Now, the only issue with pregnancy is that if you want to give biological throughout the pregnancy, if you look at the Crohn's colitis UK, Crohn's colitis North America, um, 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 uh, ASG and so on, they, they will, AGA, sorry, they will you tell you, uh, you can use it. Yes. But you have to think about your patient and the fetus. Yes. It's safe. The only issue is that you should not give vaccination the first six months live attenuated live vaccine. vaccination that's all. that's all and there was a very nice study actually comparing mothers with with crohn's on biological yes. who, and they, they they just separated into two groups one they continued biological and one they stopped biological yes. uh, uh 26 24 20, 26 weeks just they the, the milestone of those who completed biologic during pregnancy were much better than those who stopped yes. because the, once you, the, the mother stopped she can flare and the, the, the baby will have less weight, less nutrients, and so on. So don't be afraid to continue I biological. Think we delivered this that afternoon during Hussein, that is the last uh, follow up yesterday, delivers through a very big assessment 2,000 women in USA. They showed that uh, the patient to continue use of anti GNF, 2,000 patients, they suffering from nothing except the better birth outcome and better or, or delayed postpartum exacerbation. It is very astonishing data delivering about the safety. And I think, as you said, the Roma and the skin sometimes use it freely, but uh, the community of the IBD still needs more and more uh, assurance. Thank you very much for the presentation.